It can be scary when everything around you seems to be falling apart and this can trigger your mental health to spiral out of control and it can feel like you're drowning in worry and stress. This can cause your brain to almost shut down and can be the reason for the dreaded feeling of brain fog. It's extremely difficult to concentrate or get anything done no matter what you do. This can keep you from being functional on a day-to-day -day basis. You're not alone, we've all been there. So what indeed are the signs that your brain is breaking down and how do we fix it? Keep watching and find out. Sleepwalking through life. During severe depression and grief, our brains experience theta waves, which usually only occur before sleep, while we're awake. According to neuroscience research done at Shenzhen University in China, significant increases in theta and alpha band functional connectivity are shown in those who have major depressive disorder. So basically, the emotional numbness and disconnection you feel while depressed is for a reason. You aren't entirely present when severely depressed or experiencing brain fog because of an increase in theta wave activity. How do you combat this? You have to motivate your brain. One surefire way is to increase regular exercise. Research shows that exercise helps improve focus, memory, and can even improve cognitive function. According to Dr. Harris Ayer from Psychology Today, you should aim for at least 150 minutes of aerobic exercise per week, such as swimming, walking, jogging, or even taking a fun dance class. That will get your blood running and help reduce brain fog all in one. Fatigue. You could be recovering from an illness or it could be a medication side effect. Either way, the fatigue that comes with brain drain can be debilitating and distressing. Studies show that fatigue experienced during brain fog can be caused by ADHD, COVID-19, chronic fatigue syndrome, menopause, etc. So it's an underlying issue that's usually caused by pre-existing conditions. In an article for Healthline, Dr. Dean McKinnon, Associate Professor of the Department of Psychiatry at Johns Hopkins University, mentions this, brain fog isn't a scientific term itself, but rather a mild cognitive dysfunction that may be caused by many different conditions. How to fix this? When it comes to fatigue, research shows that lack of sleep and exercise as well as poor diet are usually the main culprits. Medical professionals recommend at least 7-8 to eight hours of sleep every night to help you recharge, which means keeping yourself away from the iPhone. Another helpful strategy is eating foods that are high in antioxidants, such as blackberries, nuts, and broccoli, to name a few. Memory the never-ending feeling of brain fog can keep you constantly thinking twice about even the smallest tasks. From forgetting your keys or feeding your cat, please don't forget to feed your cat. This constant feeling of forgetfulness is exhausting. Memory issues due to brain fog can also negatively impact your decision making and concentration at school or work, which can eventually create a cycle of stress and anxiety. How to fix this? According to Dr. Krishnan, taking mental breaks when you feel overwhelmed can be a vital tool in preserving and maintaining your mental and even physical health. Some mental break activities can include taking a brisk walk outside, making a cup of your favorite coffee or tea, and listening to music. Impaired focus. It can feel like a daunting task to have to sit and focus on anything, because along with feelings of depression, brain fog can make it so much more difficult to concentrate at school, a work meeting, or even simple directions. Worse, you may be distracted by every little thing, such as doom scrolling through TikTok and social media. When you have several projects and responsibilities that start piling up, this can cause extreme stress which will inevitably cause you to focus even less. What can help with this? First, compartmentalizing your tasks throughout the day and following a rigid schedule can keep you focused and organized. Here's how it works. Compartmentalization requires separating your tasks, thoughts, and emotions separately so that they don't overlap or interfere with one another, which is an effective way to reduce stress. Compartmentalizing will allow you to focus on the task at hand instead of being distracted by the millions of other things you haven't been able to get to. Compartmentalizing also means drawing boundaries between certain things like school, work life, and time with family and friends. According to Psychology Today, compartmentalization can play a role in developing self-care strategies. Basically, this is a mental tool that can help you not only minimize stress, but also reduce the effects of impaired focus.